Thanks for listening my presentation. So I'm going to talk about PA offload, performability aware adaptive fog offloading for drone image processing. My name is Fumio Machida from University of Tsukuba, and this is a joint work with Elmson Andrade. Uh, he's from uh, University uh, Federal Rural de Pernambuco. Here comes the outline. So first I'm going to talk about the background and the related work. So then we propose the framework uh, called PA Offload. The core of this framework is performability model. So I introduced the performability model. And in order to evaluate the effectiveness of our approach, we conducted numerical experiments. So let me start with the uh, background. Uh, nowadays, smart drone systems uh, are used in many application domains. So modern drones are equipped with cameras and high-speed processors to analyze real-time images. So using that real-time image analysis, uh, recognizing the surrounding of a drone is uh, essential for uh, mission-critical tasks such as disaster rescue or uh, surveillance. Uh, image processing on the drone is not always resource efficient so because uh, the drone's uh, resource is limited and sometimes battery life is also limited. So considering that, so another computation mode of loading a task to fog node can be considered. So in image processing on drone case, uh, the pictures taken on the drone uh, can be processed on the uh, drone. Meanwhile, so if we offload uh, the uh, process to uh, any node in the fog computing infrastructure, so then image uh, the images uh, taken as a drone is shipped to the fog node, the image processing is running on the fog node. So that is more reliable resources. So at the same time, so we also need to care about the uh, communication overhead. So because drone need to send the data uh, to fog node. The challenges addressed in this paper is basically a consideration of performance availability trade-offs. The drone processing mode is preferable in terms of real-time performance. So meanwhile, the fog computing mode is better in terms of system availability. So because fog node has more stable resources. So in addition to these trade-offs, we also need to care about the uncertainties from real-world environments. So varying workload intensity of image processing applications. Um, so that is one uncertainty uh, caused, caused by uh, mission. And because the drone fly uh, different places, the quality of the virus communication link also changing. So that is another uncertainty we need to consider. So under these uncertainties, so it is not a trivial issue to decide when to start or stop for go forwarding to make a better trade-off. So there are some related work in this domain. Uh, regarding fog offloading techniques, existing study mainly focus on to minimize the execution delay or energy consumption. Some other researchers focusing on finding a proper trade-off between the energy consumption and the execution time. So our work uh, aims to make a better trade-off between the system availability and the service performance. Uh, to the best of our, our knowledge, uh, there is no existing work considering the, uh, such a trade-off. Uh, from the perspective of performability analysis, uh, because we focus on performability analysis, uh, there are existing work for performability analysis on wireless communication network systems. So the previous study used Markov reward models. So another study used Markov regenerative process uh, for performability analysis of radio storage system. Our study employed stochastic reward net uh, to quantify the performability of a fog based drone image processing system for deciding of loading. So that is a new application domain for performability analysis. 
So then uh, move on to our proposition, uh, PL fraud. The PL fraud is a performability aware adaptive focal folding framework. The input of this framework is environmental uncertainties. The output, is, output of this framework is a, a mode decision. So whether we should go offloading or not. The performability analysis and the comparison are key components of PL fraud. So the architecture of PL fraud is uh, depicted in the figure. So the input uh, environmental sensitivities, uh, so parameter values related to workload and link liabilities are input to the uh, performability analysis components. In order to evaluate performability uh, for a drone processing mode and fog node processing mode, so uh, PL fraud employs a, a stochastic model representing the configuration and behavior of fog nodes and drones. So depending on the two modes, uh, there are two uh, performability models uh, for a drone processing model and fog node processing model. So using these models, uh, we can compute the uh, perf estimated performability for uh, both two modes. And then performability comparison module compares the uh, expected performability and then decides uh, which mode is better. The performability computation is the key of the uh, PL fraud. So performability is a composite performance, performance availability measure. So which evaluates the effectiveness of degradable systems. So we in this in our context, we define the performability as the average request processing rate over the available period. So which can be formulated as follows. So PA is equal to integration over P uh, integration of PS. So PS is the request processing rate in our context. And uh, uh, over the uh, probability distribution FS. So that is the uh, uh, probability of state S in uh, system available, co available condition. So that is the general de definition of performability. So then uh, we uh, determine the uh, preferable mode uh, by comparing the performability value. So given parameter values theta, so perform first we compute performance availability measures for two modes and then compute the uh, expected performability E uh, PAT conditioned by theta and E PAF conditioned by theta uh, for drone and fog floating modes. The preferable mode M theta is determined by the uh, mode which expects higher performability. For example, so in the uh, right uh, figure example, so drone processing mode uh, is expected to smaller uh, performability compared to formal processing mode. So in that case, we uh, decide to start offloading. Okay, so then uh, the problem is uh, how to compute uh, the performability from the uncertainty. So in order to compute, uh, we introduce performability model. Our performability model is based on SRN, so which is a variant of stochastic PetroNet, uh, provides a higher level graphical representation of stochastic behavior of systems. A special feature of SRN is a reward function, so that allows us to analyze several performance measures. The following figure shows an example of stochastic PetroNet. Uh, the detail can be found in my paper. So this is a drone processing model based on SRN. The model consists of three interdependent subnets, drone model, client node model, and wireless link model. The wireless link is a, a communication between drone and client. So based on this petri net, we define reward function for evaluating service availability, system availability, and service throughput. So similarly, Similarly, a fog offloading model can be uh, formulated with three uh, interdependent subnets. So this model incorporates a subnet for a fog node instead of a client node. So there are some interaction between 
uh, these subnets. In addition to reward functions, uh, we also need to specify guard function, so which basically defines the conditions where uh, the transition can fire. So besides them, so we also introduce environmental model uh, to incorporate the environmental uncertainties. So we define two environmental models representing the state of the workload and the communication link quality. The top part of the figure shows the workload intensity model, and the bottom part shows the communication quality model. The leftmost place represents the lowest workload state, and the rightmost place represents the highest workload state. Similarly, for communication link quality model, the leftmost place represents the most robust state, and rightmost place represents the least reliable state. So this is a simple uh, state transition model. So that is uh, can be applied for a general uh, that, that that can use a general model. So based on this model, so in order to evaluate the effectiveness of our approach, uh, we conducted numerical experiments. The experimental configuration is as follows. So we use the parameter values uh, by, based on Justmate and uh, SRN are uh, implemented using SPNP. So that is one of the between the package and solved by a new maker method, Gauss Sizer method. So first we conduct sensitivity analysis uh, to workload variation. So we evaluate the impacts of the workload <clears throat> on the service availability and the performance of the uh, drone processing mode and the fog offloading mode, TP and FO, respectively. So first, uh, please look at the alert figure. So that represents the service availability impact. So you can see that uh, fog offloading is always preferable. Uh, so that is because the fog node provides more reliable computing resource. On the other side, uh, for a service throughput perspective, so there is no significant difference between the modes. Then we also conducted sensitivity link reliability. Uh, we evaluate the impact of communication link reliability on the service availability and the performance. The left figure shows the uh, impact of service availability. Again, we can see that fog offloading always achieves higher availability. However, uh, when we look at the uh, service throughput uh, in right figure, uh, drone processing has an advantage. So that is because uh, it is not affected by the change of communication link quality. So the uh, fog offloading of data proce uh, drone processing uh, is uh, depends on the uh, environmental uncertainties, link quality and uh, workload intensities. So then we introduce environmental model. So in order to evaluate the effectiveness of our adaptive approach, PL fraud. So in this evaluation, we consider three stages workload, uh, low, medium, high, and three stages link reliability, robust degree, degrade, and stable. The following table shows that uh, uh, Availability, uh, throughput, availability and throughput uh, under different uh, environment states. So for example, so workload state is low and link state is robust. In that case, a service throughput of DP is uh, 108.946, so which is uh, written in red character. So which represents that uh, DP is higher than F4. So in fact, uh, for, in terms of service throughputs, uh, most cases uh, DP achieves higher uh, throughput compared to F4, except one case. However, when we look at the system availability, so the focal floating mode is uh, high, achieves a higher availability compared to DP in the most cases. So uh, there's a trade-off between DP and F4, but uh, in, without using a PL fraud, we cannot decide which one is better. Then the 
uh, effectiveness of PL fold is evaluated. So the one of the benefit of PL fold uh, is uh, to make a desirable trade-off between service availability and performance because uh, we use a unified measure uh, availability and throughput. And PL fold uh, always at performance DP and flow in terms of the performability uh, by using uh, adaptive approach. The following uh, evaluation results show that uh, by varying the workload application rate, actually the uh, state change rate uh, for the environmental condition. So always we see that PL fraud achieves higher performability compared to DP and uh, F4. So similarly, so we, we vary the state change rate of our link degradation. So again, so PL fraud achieves the highest uh, performability compared to uh, DP and F4. Okay, let me conclude my presentation. So we propose PL fraud so as an offloading decision scheme for a draw image processing task in order to improve the performability of the system. So uh, we model the system behavior comprehensively using the stochastic reward net. Our new maker experiment shows that peer fraud always achieves a better performability. Our future work uh, considers to extend our model to larger systems that may consist of multiple drones and fog nodes. We can also consider the energy, the autonomy, and the safety of drones as other important measures. So validating the model the parameters uh, with real use cases is also important future work. So that concludes my presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention.